Hello, everyone. Thank you for watching Couch Coaches, the summer edition. I'm your host, Billy Trice. And we got a very controversial topic today. It's going to be on Josh Heater, the pitcher of the Milwaukee Brewers. And uh, some of the, you know, some of the comments that came out during the All-Star break. So, um, oh, sorry, not comments, tweets that were tweeted out back when he was 17 years old. So I'm going to, if you guys don't know what happened, uh, well, I, if you guys don't know what the tweets were and what he said, I'm going to, you know, uh, I'm going to explain some of them for you and uh, read them off for you. Uh, please, you know, if you have young children, if you're, you're very sensitive to vulgar language, please be aware that I will be using some vulgar language. Okay, so one of the tweets was, I don't give a damn, I'm a triply nigger, fuck my lungs, fuck my liver. That was uh, f a lyric from a Juicy J song called Dare She Go. Um, there's another one. What else does he say? Oh, he says, wow, ha, ha, nah, who am I getting? I was a little nigger, nigger. That... Um, which is unacceptable. I don't. He that was not a lyric at all. He was in a. It was a. It was a response to somebody. Um, he also says face down, ass up. That's the way we like to fuck. There's some hoes in this house. I'm trying to fuck. He also says gay people freak me out. This dude comes in with pony shirts and a pony mail bag. The fuck. Um, he also says suck my cock. I'll murder your family. That's from a movie. That's from a welfare movie. Um, so I, I get the reference there. Also not okay. Uh, he also says I'm gay as fuck. Um, he says whoever marries me better be ready to uh, ready better be ready for my big dick. Um, he says when I fuck I let her pussy soak. Uh, he also says sniffing coke lines off my dick. She riding on that train. She crushing down that powder. I'm puffing on this sour. That's a Mac Miller quote. Um, that's from his song, Lucky uh, Lucky Ass Bitch, uh, which is a rap song. He also tweets out KKK. Um, oh, and he also tweets out White Power, LOL, with a fist pound. So, you get the gist of what, you know, he said and how controversial this is and how people are, you know, definitely giving him hell for, for what he did. He did come out and apologize um, the MLB released a statement saying they didn't agree with anything you said. Did make him take um, some classes for sensitivity. Um, the Milwaukee Brewers they also released a statement saying that they didn't agree with what he said. Um, so you know, that, you know, people are in the right, right there. But where it becomes controversial and people are really confused are his first game back off the All Star break, his first start. He hasn't pitched yet. He hasn't thrown one pitch. He's, as soon as he steps onto the mound, all the Milwaukee fans give him a big standing ovation. Now, people are wondering, what is he getting a standing ovation for? Is he getting a standing ovation for, you know, um, apologizing for his, you know, stupid tweets when he was 17? Or is he getting a standing ovation for the actual tweets? Look, the tweets I don't really have a problem with because, look, he's 17. Granted, he should know right and wrong, but when you're 17, you do a lot of stupid stuff. Anybody who's, you know, who's, you know, been past 17 for a few near years now know that they weren't as smart as they are uh, at 17 as they are now. So, you know, um, with age becomes, you know, you get wiser with, with, with age with the, as the years go on. So... You know, I, I understand people make mistakes and people deserve second chances, but it doesn't, again, it doesn't make what he said okay nor correct. So, um, we have to, we have to acknowledge that factor. Then, when we look at, you know, this man getting a stand ovation, I'm really confused because this past year, um, people were booing NFL players and cracking down on NFL players because they were kneeling for the national anthem for something that's positive and something that needs to change to make our country better. But we're cheering for a man who said very vulgar, racist, insensitive comments on the internet. I'm just, I, I'm baffled and confused. I, I, I don't understand 
where uh, where the mix up is and where the confusion is. We don't accept people who are trying to do better things for this country and 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 trying to create change, but we accept people that are being blatantly disrespectful to a plethora of people on the internet. I, I, I'm just confused. I don't. I don't. I, 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 don't, I really don't, I, I don't understand. Nobody can tell me, and I've been doing a lot of research on the internet. Nobody can tell me why he got a standing ovation. No one. So for me to interpret it myself, because that's all I can do, I would have to assume that they are, that they are condemning his actions. That, that's the only thing I can, that I can say, that they're condemning his actions. And that's a shame because... In this world, you would think people would know right from wrong and would, and, and would be able to tell what is good and what's right. And and boy, have has the world just shown us that, that that's just false, that we don't know what's right and wrong. Well, most people don't know what's right is wrong because everybody in that stadium was wrong for giving that man a standing ovation. That, that's point blank, period. There's no reason why he deserves a, a standing ovation. The only reason why... He should deserve a, a standing ovation is maybe because he came out and he said he was wrong and um, he said, you know, he was young and immature. And I understand that. That's maybe the only reason why. But I don't believe that's the reason. I believe that this is ignorant. And the people in the crowd, I hate to say it, but they were mostly Caucasian people for the most part who were at the game, who the camera panned on. It was mostly Caucasian. I didn't I don't think I saw one black person or one person of color who wasn't Caucasian. At all, so uh, it, it, just, it it baffles me, and it's a shame that you know the world is like this. But you know, people, you know, actions speak way louder than words. And I, as I get older, you know, that just that that becomes truer every single day, every single day. That you know, actions are just way more just means so much more than than what you say because we just saw we just saw right there that people are condemning this man for 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 those actions that he did condemning him by giving him a standing ovation that's not okay not okay at all but please tell me what you guys think how you guys interpreted it i could be interpreting it wrong i want to know what you guys think please like please comment below um please if you're not a subscriber please subscribe also I really want to uh, appreciate you guys for watching and uh, thank you guys for watching.